Hello and welcome to this roundup of my five favorite romance novels that I read this month. I'm Olivia, your favorite resource for book recommendations you can easily screenshot. You're watching Random Olive Reads. The Virgin Who Bewitched Lord Lemmington is a historical romance in book four of the Swooning Virgin Society series. Emma is in disguise as the daughter of an earl to find out more information about the mysterious disappearance of several young women in the household of a young Marquess. The young and charming Viscount Lovell is the prime suspect, but Emma is not sure that he's the sinister type. Additionally, Lovell's cousin, Lord Lemmington, Samuel, is super stern and protective and tries to warn the debutante Emma away from the man. But Emma's keeping secrets and Samuel is a bit too perceptive and they've got that whole instant attraction thing going on. We get a fun mix of romance and mystery here as we slowly uncover what happened to those missing women. The Finest Print by Aaron Langston is a standalone historical romance. Belle is a writer of gory novels and is a little bit of a spinster after breaking her engagement to a Scotland Yard inspector several years ago. She has a chance meeting with Ethan, who is newly arrived from America, who has inherited his uncle's print shop only to find that the shop is in debt. It's a perfect fit because she has stories and he has the equipment to print it. They start a weekly printing of Belle's writing, hoping to earn the money to pay off the debts. I loved the fated meeting of these two, how perfectly they suit each other's needs, and how much Ethan respects Belle's skill and intelligence. The romance here was soft and sensible and soothing in all the best ways, and it's clear that these two have an equal partnership and make a great team. Belle's family is strong and supportive, just as we would expect them to be, and I also enjoyed the found family of the print shop crew. My Vampire Plus the One by Jenna Levine is a paranormal romance and book two of the My Vampire series. This one is a fun and hilarious story. Amelia has a very pushy family that basically makes her resort to making up a fake boyfriend that she says she's bringing to her cousin's wedding. Luckily for her, she had only just run into Reginald, who owes her a fever. Reginald has all sorts of golden retriever vibes and is the best fake boyfriend ever. He's even honest about her, his own vampire status when he meets her, except she thinks that he was joking and didn't realize it until later and things get a little awkward, but she's slowly coming around. And there's this whole side story about Reginald being kind of a fugitive and having his own um, people following him, but Amelia is going to be the one to help save the day. Love and Other Conspiracies by Mar Mallory Marlowe is a contemporary romance where Hallie is a web series producer without a series after her ex-boyfriend kicks her off his project, and she's looking for the next big web star. She stumbles on Hayden, who hosts a podcast about conspiracy theories and ghost hunting. They team up to turn his podcast material into video material, and the show is an absolute delight to all of their fans especially with the quippy banter between Hallie and Hayden. As they get closer together, it's clear they're trying to balance keeping things professional while pursuing their feelings. Hallie is especially skittish since she just got out of a toxic relationship with a guy she still works with. The humor and banter here was so fun, and Hayden's emotional intelligence ranks up there with his conspiracy theory intelligence, which is a lot. Primetime Romance by Kate Robb is a contemporary romance with little paranormal elements here. Bryn and her roommate Josh get magically sucked into her favorite teen drama TV show that had ended on a cliffhanger 10 years ago. Now they're setting off to kind of right to the wrongs of the story. Bryn's trying to get together with the dreamboat crush, who turns out he's not as dreamy as he once was. Brian and Josh grow closer together and learn to become friends and partners in this fictional television world and also try to figure out a way back home. This book had so many fun Easter eggs to Dawson's Creek and One Tree Hill and even Buffy and all of those teen dramas that I used to love watching when I was a teenager. Thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you found a book or five to add to your TBR. Links to all of these books are in the description box. Like and subscribe to get updates. And you can follow me on Instagram at randomolive.